Old Town used to be one of the most fancy locations in Mombasa, especially by tourists. But an anonymous gang had taken charge here for several months. Although some calm has now started to return, this has been another dreaded area. This used to be one of the safest places in Mombasa. For Hussein Halid, a well-known human rights defender in Mombasa, Old Town, the area he was born and grew up, is not the same. For many years, I remember growing up in the streets and people would sleep with their doors open. If people have to go to the mosque, they would leave their shops open, they go to the mosque and come back and find everything intact. But over the last few years, we have seen the rise of criminal gangs and criminal gangs of youth who are from the same community. Uh, before that, people used to say, oh, these are people who are coming from outside, they are thieves in these communities, they are coming here as thugs and all that. But of late, we've seen youth who were born here, youth who grew up here, youth who are from the uh, Muslim community, the, you know, engaging in violent crime. And that caused uh, shivers down the spine of many people. Uh, until a few months ago, we could not stand here today to speak openly and, you know, without fear. Because in a short while, you would have people attacking you, taking away your wares, some even stabbing you. Several people have been stabbed here to death. I think um, Mombasa being very, very cosmopolitan, um, cultures and family values that had always been there started slowly being eroded. And that is the reason why in a number of my, uh, my, my uh, addresses to the public is that the family and the society has to take charge. Um, you can never totally put a, a pointing blame on someone else. Whilst, yes, there could be a catalyst for crime to be there, but eventually, um, you cannot tell me that a 16-year-old is engaging in crime because they are jobless. A 16-year-old is meant to be in school. Um, I have, um, this is the reason why we came up with these programs like the uh, eye scanners in schools, so that um, a parent can be able to know. And uh, we can also be able to eventually trace with one simple button. We can be able to now know uh, which parent is, is, is lacking and is slacking um, when it comes to ensuring that their child goes to school. And then that parent can be engaged by the, the, the relevant authorities. Statistics by Haki Africa indicate that at least 16 have died in the hands of criminal gangs in this town in a span of two years. Supremacy fights within the gang establishments have resulted in the formation of splinter groups, Forest Brigade, Gaza Brigade, Ojuku Wabibi, Young Tax, Dag Live, Boko Haram and the Kapenguria Six are just some of them. Kuna mama moja mbani to wairimo, ambu mama mwenye kusema kweli, mimi sisi kumjua mala naishi, ufanya kupiku ambuwa na kapteni bane mbaka daka sasa bane kunetajika jeneza. Na vile anasema kumbwa kunetajika jeneza, wanga aneza kuchagua kama ni mtu tano, mtu kumi, eh. Tunambambakadakasasamamanatuchkuavizuranatukakatagari Tunaenda na mama. Nika katika mjagarira mama ya mbalo ni yo haria. Tunaenda mbaka kule malu kuna zikuwa mtu mwenyewe. Ambo mtu kama ule akisha kufa katika kalikuwa zongo na mwita kwa mba mjinga mjinga. Ona. Wongo na mwita kwa mba mjinga mjinga. Unasikia kwa mba haa. Fulani fulani bana mjinga mjinga metuna. Hele kutuna ni kwa mba mekufa. Kwa hivyo na bidu na kukua katika hari, tunayenda mbaka hapo vizuri, tunayenda tunangalia jeneza nyeo kama ni manyimbu hapo, anazikuwa kweli, tunangalia kweli, mama kwambea, unaona jeneza, ini tunalitaka. Inabidi tunaliona pae kapisa na mama, tunaliona na mama, nambea mama temflando tafanya kazi. Taimu kushafika, sisi wanga tushafika pale. Kuna mkuboto na pigi ya simu, pick up, inakuja, tunalitua tulzi kama ni shepe, kama ni jembe, nini. Tunaanza kuna wale mbao wakutua mchanga kwanzo, 
Alafu kuna wale ambao kubeba ile sanduku kulieka nje kuna mwingine ambaye anapata patiaka ambaye ni kutole maiti ndani na, kum, na kumregesha pale kuna ule ubeba ile jeneza na kulipweka kwenye gari alafu sote tunaingia katika gari na enda baka kwa mama na tukutani tunakutana mama mwenye kama ni wanaweza kusema kama tukutane kama mali fulani kama bamburi mtu hapa wapi sasa ni jeneza hizo kujua mali ile mama anapeleka lakini captain wangu anajua mbaki captain wangu anatuambia kwamba kada kasa jeneza ile kishachukuliwa wanga anaweza kupelekwa mali kunajukana kama makadapa kwa majeneza ninapelekwa pale na usiku wa manane nenda pale ninaingizwa pale ndani na store alafu ninafanya mambo yake usiku huo usiku huo chafu mambo yake fuko asubuhi jeneza liko pale kama vile lipya labda tumechukua jeneza labda nilifu kama sabini ama tisaini mama inabidi mpaka sasa nitapata shilingi 1500 kwa nachukua pesa ile inabidi kesha anaenda kuangalia lingine hivyo ndio kakuwa tunafanya na tushafufua wengi hapo ndani ya manyimbo chefu wengi hapo ndani ya kongoya ambao ni makaburini hapo maake beze wakalikuanza kitambo likuanga kongoya makabrini ambao walikuwa kufika pale makabrini upande wako wa kuzanjugu tutapata wamekapo wengi sana lakini siwezi vile kumekwa ukuta ni ngumu kuona pale mpaka kuna mwingine ambako ulio ambaye ndo alikuwa anashikilia ukubwa ambako anaitwa msela morio hapo makabrini akaulua hapo na bunduki na mpolisi wa nyali sasa ikabidi timu ile pale imekufa ikakuwa sawa na junga wote wako hapo kwa mshomoroni most of the philosophies are similar only separated by location intelligence sources say the groupings number about 20 zamani hapo old town yetu kama unavyojua na sifa zinavyojulikana ilikuwa kuni hatari watu watu kiingia mtaani kokote unapoingia old town watu na unaibiwa ukibeba simu yako unaibiwa ukibeba mwanamke akitembea akienda sokoni anaibiwa uh, tuka introduce mambo ya CCTV ikawa sasa hizi CCTV zina run 24 hours 24/7 ambao vijana wale ambao wanaoibwa wanajabidi wanaonekaniwa live inabidi na sisi tunayabidi tunao expose bwana wewe unajulikana mtoto fulani tena tuna expose sasa inabidi wanaogopa kwanza kufanya ile uhalifu. Hivi so far tangu tuanze mradi wa CCTV imetusaidia vikubwa sana kiasi cha kuwa 99% ya nini ya uhalifu umepotea. Sasa hii watu wanaweza kutembea barabarani, tukutu zinaweza tembea barabarani. Hakuna mtu anayewavamia vijana wenyewe pia wame wamesarenda, wamekuwa yani sasa hii wataka kusaidiwa, wanasaidiwa mheshimiwa pia anawajaribu kuwasaidia kikazi anafungulia biashara. Yaani wao vijana sasa hii wanahofia wanajua wazi wakifanya kitu kamera zinawanasa tumjue yeye ameingia live hapo so muone pale pale tupoingie ile entrance wamuona wao the 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 cctv actually themselves every area uh, is controlled by the locals themselves totally by the locals themselves and um, they now have access to be able to see and areas where crime had been very very high where criminals used to pass once one person is seen and one person is caught then it becomes very very easy to try and subdue uh, people getting tempted into 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 crime uh, it has worked very very well some of the affected areas have now resorted to community policing and although said to be making some ground it is facing its own challenges gulamu abdul hussein is the chair of community policing in mwandoni ngelenye lao kama kumalizika lingekuwa limemalizika kitambo sana kwa kulingana na kuwa nchi yetu ina, mas, ina serikali ya wenye uwezo mkubwa sana lakini ikiwa watu ambao wanohusika wamo ndani ya wazazi wenyewe wa mitaa au vizaliwa wa mitaani kwa hivyo mtu kumtoa mtu itakuwa ngumu ni mtu kumla mtu ndio inawezekaniwa mfano wake ni kama mtu au mizo mwingine astiri ayake kwa ndani mtu enda akamtoe some areas he tells me had been labeled danger zones hapa kuna mpaka askari ule hapa nyuma amekatwa panga la uso na la nyuma na askari ule pale alikatwa sasa watu wako ambao wamefanyiwa ambao ni kitu hao askari ambao walinda kwa geti tu wakavamiwa je hao wapita njia wanaokuwa kila leo wanatafuta day bread yao watafanywa nini na hii kazi inafanyika usiku saa mbili kuanzia saa moja mpaka saa mbili tatu mpaka saa sita stop alfajiri saa tisa, kumi paka saa mbili hii kitu inafanyika saa nyingine utakujasikia mchana wa Mungu mtu anafanywa mtawa pili kama hapa blue bench ni wengi wa katika vizazi wa uni wa uni wengine ni kwao hapo wazazi wao wako hapo hapo unaona sasa automatic 
uwezi ukoa moja ukafuatizia yote unashaona sasa ni yote twajaribu he might uh, want to commit this crime for for monetary gain some for fun some would like to see somebody suffering somewhere prosecuting cases touching on juvenile crime has faced its own challenges most cases do not see the light of the day the role of parents in upbringing of their children has been brought to focus lazima sasa tu tufanye mji wetu urudi vile ulivyokuwa kibokoni ile iliyokuwa maana kibokoni ilikuja ikapata sifa mbaya sana iturudisha ile kibokoni tulozaliwa sote ni wazaliwa wa hapa sasa hivi mtoto yote hata kama ni wanani akipatikanwa yuakamatwa yuatiwa adabu apelwe kwa polisi hatutaki kujua ni mtoto wa nani wala ni wanani bora amepatikana na ushahidi uko sasa ndo kidogo imerudisha chini watoto wetu wanatuhumiwa wanatoka na visu wanatoka na mapanga ambayo wanatoka nao katika majumba yetu hatuwakanyi wanatoka nje wanakwenda kukatakata watu na halafu wanarudi majumbani mwetu wakiwa na vitu ambavyo si vyao lakini wazazi hawawakemei wale watoto hawaelezi ubora au muhimu wa kuona na amani katika sehemu zetu sisi kama wazazi tujilazimishe tuishi vizuri tuwe ni mfano mzuri tuwe tuna uhusiano mzuri pale ndani nyumba tuwe na mapenzi tuwe na kushauriana kuhurumiana ili watoto wetu waweze kupata elimu hii familia ndio nursery ndio primary ndio secondary ndio college ndio university ya mtoto kuweza kuyajua yale ambayo atakutana nao katika maisha hatuwezi kusema kwamba hatuwajui wale wauni tunawajua we have profiled them tuna picha zao tuna namba zao za simu but these people are fugitives they are on the run wanatoroka wanakimbia hawalali manyumbani kwao tena lakini nyinyi mnaona kila siku mtu ambie mkitupa habari tutawachukulia hatua na mimi natoa onyo wale vijana ambao bado wanaendelea ambao majina yao tunawajua na wako hapa old town wajisalimishe wajisalimishe tuarekebishe Reports of robbery incidents along popular beaches such as Pirates and Nyali have been blamed on these groups and such incidences continue to increase. Well, poverty and unemployment clearly is guiding youths towards the wrong direction, making many youths to waste their lives. Although security apparatus say they are making headways, clearly it remains a top priority to end crime in Mombasa. And that's where we end behind the headlines tonight. Thanks for watching. My name is Francis Ontomwa.